second heat of round two. If you're just joining us, Carissa just got past Malia Manuel to head into round three. And now this heat features another surfer from Hawaii, Tatiana Weston Webb taking on Pauline Ado. Pauline from Anglet, France, ready to compete once again here at Lower Trestles where she's found some success in the past. Being a goofy foot, could she be looking for a left-hand option? But her backhand is so lethal as well. Right on cue, Joe. Backhand <laughs> is very lethal. And uh, I think she's going to stick with that. I think going uh, uh, with the wind, the conditions here at the moment, you'd rather be going down the line with the wind. Uh, it's sort of a little bit friendlier rather than into the wind. Conditions, I think Friday will be finals day. Uh, we'll still have some swell left, though. Driving down the line is Paulina Zo. Rips one off the lip real quick. Here comes the fading cutback. Nice arc. Pauline driving down the line. Nice hammer out in front, throwing a vertical. Not much left wave-wise on the inside corner, but she's going to try to seal the deal with one more little down carve, and she's out of there. The Tati, couple of ones to warm up. Pauline Ado took off on the wrong wave, but maybe just got that momentum going, turning her best score so far. Yeah, just get you know get a wave under your belt. I think uh, you know you, it builds your confidence. You get your feet in the right place. You start trusting in your equipment. And uh, Pauline, well, she's had some results here. She knows how to surf this wave. This turn right here, probably the pick of the bunch. Nice tight snap in the pocket. And uh, she's got good form when she gets her feet in the right place and milking this one all the way through. I'm not sure about how many more points you're going to get by getting this length of ride. It does take a lot of energy out of you. But I think you've got to get all the bulk of the points out the back and that big vertical face. But Pauline, definitely her best wave. Nice vision from the sky just to get a different angle on this wave. Bang, that was the turn right there. It's going to ga gather all the points and uh, scores dropping through for her. Could love it as well. It's really user friendly. Having a look now is Tatiana Weston Webb. Little backhand carve and jams it off the lip. Second turn solid there for the surfer from Kauai. Little wrapping cutback once again. Now she's thinking about her final couple of maneuvers. And she'll hop out. So the goofy footer started off with a couple of warm up waves. Now holding back. Show that commitment. Show that conviction right here. She comes around the section, just gets herself in the right place. And right here, off the bottom, and bang, throws the fins out the back of the wave. That's what you've got to do. Mix it up on your backhand. Three different turns there from Tatiana. She brings this one through the inside. So I think we're looking at the best wave of the heat so far. Solid effort there for Tatiana Weston Webb. We're at Tart at the moment. <laughs> oh, look at that. I'd be happy with that too. What about you guys? <laughs> well, Ace Bucken, you got the win, mate. Congratulations. Beautiful style, beautiful surfing, uh, and more to come. Yeah, definitely. I love hanging out with the kids, and I'm even taking my own daughter to early surf clubs now, so it's just such a great opportunity for the young guys coming through. The three sixes, I thought it was going to be easily up into that six point range. Pauline Nadeau getting herself back into this heat. Nice turn right there from Paulina. She only needs a 2.84, so you could say that she's going to get herself maybe into the lead with that wave. A couple of nice turns from her, showing a lot more commitment. Press when you hit the water, and I can tell you that you're ripping, but I'll, sometimes you can be your toughest critic. What did you think of your performance in round two? Um, you know, I... I thought I did an all right job. I think um, it's good for me to build a little bit of confidence and get a heat win. I've seen her around two quite a few times, but I think she's got a pretty good strike rate. Tyler coming up next as we watch Wes and Webb hammer the first section. Solid backhand approach. Already off her second turn into her third carving hack. Already swinging for her fourth maneuver. Now running through the inside corner. Once that backhand's in motion, it's hard to stop about Cordy Conlog in round one, eight, six, seven. So right about fives and sixes in this scene. Wow. As we look at Tati's win. Beautiful opening turn. You know, and she found that groove. Once she gets that groove, that confidence up, I mean, she just really unleashes that backside attack and finishes this wave all the way through the inside. So a five, five, one, I think she's going to get that. I think she's going to uh, flip flop the lead and put a little bit of pressure on Pauline. And, uh, it's beautiful to check out the, the wildlife and the trees that are protected by the California State Park. Back to this one with Polly Nadeau. Nice set wave, ton of speed and jams it right off the roof. 
off the bottom and throws a top turn car through the inside corner, oh. jams it again. Great read and flow to this inside connection. And that winds up the finish. Nice and easy. Great wave selection. That was the one she was waiting for, Potts. Absolutely, Joe. I think, uh, and she's going to need it too. There's early indications uh, of Tatiana's wave. It's going to come in at that score. 5.51 that she's needing. She looks like she's going to get it. So this is a very, very important exchange right here. The battle. Still underway here with plenty of time on the clock. Having another look here. Yeah, just a little bit of a sleepy start to the wave, but now she connects nicely. Throws the fins out. Just timing is everything out here at the moment. Kind of mistimed that turn, but then corrected it with a nice little manoeuvre. And milking it through. She sees this little end section. It's going to give her a little bonus turn here to finish off and connects nicely with that. Throws the fins out, gets a little bit of a sliding motion, so... Look, champ, she'll be out there in five minutes as we check out the heat recap. Pauline's last got her the score for the lead with a 6-1-3. Tati started off with a lot of activity. Small scores for a warm-up, then built to a 5.83 punts. Yeah, I mean, Tatiana, to me, has been, been the aggressor, but Pauline has definitely been on the better waves. I mean, uh, they've offered her a lot of scoring opportunities. She's capitalized on that. You can see the size of the wave. You know, obviously, Tatiana looking for a special kind of wave. Does sort of more insider with a little bit more smoother face on it. It allows her just to unleash some big backside turns, but you look at the size difference in the, the wave selection. Pauline's been on the better waves, the bigger waves. It is one of, it's, it's way more difficult than the men. There's less places for you to uh, make it through, that's for sure. Tati, a little hit off the lip there on the back end. She's out. 2.10 to go now. Wow, that was a priority mistake right there, Joe. Gilmore later on today. Now taking the final wave here, Pauline Addo. Carve out of the gates, fading cutback again. This one's going flat, and she's already looking out to the horizon. She's given Tatiana 30 seconds with priority to look for a 6.03. Unfortunate for Tatiana. She's going to run out of time, needing a 6.03, Joe. So we see the high seed getting knocked out. Here in round two at the Swatch Pro, Tati eliminated by the informed Pauline Addo. Smart with priority, picking off the better waves in that matchup as round two continues.